Yes, my name is Bench, and welcome back to Star Made. It's been a while since we've been here, but as you can imagine, it's been pretty busy in developer land. We've been working on the new docking system, the new turrets, and new rails. We've also got some new logic blocks to show off. So we're here in one of the development builds, we're in 0 0.19193, which is really exciting because it's the first chance we get to see some of these new logic blocks that we're adding. So we've got here... The middle one is a button at the moment, and then these side ones are wireless logic. Yes, you heard that right, wireless logic. Um, it's designed to really integrate with the rails very well. Um, and just to show you what sort of stuff that you could do, I've built this little sort of bridge, and it's in this defensive area. And what we can do is I can switch those on, and you'll see we start moving. Check this out. We've slide along, move along, and we get deployed. What? Welcome to space. And here we are on the top of our ship. Now, this is just a concept so you can see there's not much of a ship to be seen. But you can see we've got our nice bridge there. We're able to go and fly down. We've got this connecting corridor, which is really useful. So everything slides around, slides back. You can build it whatever way you want. But... You can see with a couple of triggers, the whole system's moved. Now, it is really, really cool. I'm really excited about this. Check it out. If we hit these two again and switch them off, they will eventually toggle. You can see we move back, sliding back here. And you'll see things drop down, connect up, and we're back in this area as well. What happens up top? You can see it actually closes up. So we've got some really cool stuff happening here. And it hasn't been too difficult to set up. You basically set up your little rails, which you can see here. Now I am using the default pack, the 64 pixel texture pack, because those are the ones in the development build that use the arrows, um, to be able to see that. But you can see it's, uh, it's pretty compact. It's not too complicated, but you can see we're using some of these new blocks, which is really exciting. Now, if I was to enter through there in the corridor, you can see the back end is joined up. The other one up here has actually slid inside each other. Now, this is development, so it's not too flush at the moment. You can see if I fly through, there's like this triangle gap. That eventually will be able to be flush, which is really exciting. But you can see just how crazy it is. All the pieces that move around, you know, our front area is all now closed up, which is great. And... Uh, we can go in there and walk around. It is really, really cool. So let's push it again, because who wouldn't want to do that? You can see we're using the collision actually as a uh, little uh, ability for us to be able to set when things go up and down. So you, what I've got here in the back area is I've got this whole area lining up with a couple of little columns just here in the back. If I can fly around to see him, just this one here. So it prevents this one from initially, um, our bridge from initially uh, moving back. It only goes down. Um, and then when it's got clear space to be able to move, it drops down here and then another layer here. So you can imagine if we had a monitors monitoring the battle around us, you could see here. And so this whole screen is lined up in the front area and then that slides back. So we've got a th only three pieces to this particular ship um, to be able to achieve this effect. So we've got the bridge, which I'm currently in build mode for. You can see here, and if I uh, do like that, you can see that's the only bit of it. Next we have, um, this is currently docked to another entity that I've called the mover, which is this one with a little white around it. And you can see that's basically just this column that we move up and down. Now you could hide this away. It doesn't need to be touching with whatever you've built. You could put it in another part of a ship to control it. But I like putting it right next to it. It looks a bit more mechanical, which is really cool. The mover also has this back plate on it. And it also has this little rail here. Now this little rail is not going to go up until it actually gets the space to be able to go up. But basically that's what fills in this back section here which is where the ship or where the bridge disappears into and so closes it up so it's not exposed 
Now the final piece to it is what that's docked to, which will fly over here, and you can see here's the rail for it, just here, and you can see over here is where it's docked, and over here is where all the logic is for that. And now this bottom piece holds this little area here, it holds the outer shell, it also holds most of the ship, so this outer area of the ship as well. So. It's um, a whole heap of things, and because that doesn't move, we use that for the basis of this is what the ship would be, and then the mover is the chunk which actually moves the stuff around, and then what I'm in currently is the actual bridge itself, which uh, is cool, because we get some diagonal movement, and uh, once we've got the dev build, uh, once we go into release, sorry, the button will be able to activate our wireless logic blocks like so, but they'd actually trigger, unlike at the moment where it's not really doing that. Um, but I can push it like that, and you can see, um, we can see what happens at the back. We just slide in, like so, and drop down just to align it, and boom, done. Which is really cool. Now you could have like glass doors closed if you didn't want people walking out and falling out. We'd be able to set all those up. So we're using all three of our new logic blocks. So we have this one, which is our button block, which will get a new texture eventually. <laughs> We've got our um, flip-flop block, which is really useful um, in tandem with a button block because we're able to basically say, move from this state to the next state and then swap between. Um, and we also have our wireless logic block. So this is one of the cool things that you're able to do with it, is get these really complicated movements, but be able to hook them up to just a, um, to just the one button, or the one trigger, which is really cool. So we can get them going, and we'll do it once more. So you can see it slides down and we've got to hit that button again because I missed it. There we go. But you can see this piece at the front slides up and closes off. Um, and you just, it's just a little bit of planning to get this working the way you want it to. But you can see it's pretty responsive. That front section goes down independently to the other section so it doesn't have to wait for other collisions happening on the same entity to finish and it's really cool. So in a basic setup we could do things like landing gears and really anything you want. So this is a basic landing gear which I also turned into sort of like an away team sort of drop down onto the planet using the same thing. Now we've got a button block. The button block goes through some activations to go around the corner. Now the button block is basically flipping an activation module on and off after a 0 0.5 seconds which is great. Um, this goes into the ANDs and the ANDs go into our activation modules which have the particular rail setup we want for the rail. And this is what I used on the the other big build with the bridge as well. It's the same setup. So we got a trigger going into triggering um, going into the AND gates and then what we've got is an activation module going into a button. We've got a button going into an activation module. So this thing toggles itself on and off. Um, but with this setup, what we can do is we use two blocks and we put the activation module on either end of our rail. Um, and then we take the button of either side and put it into a flip-flop. So what this few blocks is going to do, so we got five, and what's going to happen is this flip-flop is going to toggle every time we get to an edge of our rail, which is great when you want to go back and forward because then we just take the flip-flop into a knot and we take the knot into one of the end gates, take the flip-flop into the other end gate and then we're able to trigger our movement like, whoop, like so. And you can see at the back when it gets to the top it flips and that's because we got our button sending an off signal to our activation module um, and we'll trigger it again if I can squeeze in here you can see it goes down gets to that end, boom, done and the flip-flop toggles and you can see 
we can take a wireless logic block and hook it up as well, like so. And so if we were on it, we could easily just toggle it as well. Um, gravity in collisions is still a bit funny on moving things like that, but you get the general idea, which is really cool. Now, you could go, all right, well, I don't want to use um, those particular new logic blocks for rails or anything. I want to use them for other things. Well, here is a very, very simple airlock. Um, you could add some extra logic just for area um, fixing. But on the whole, look, it only uses five. Um, and this has a lot of functionality for only using five blocks. So what we have is we've got a button on the outside, which we can toggle and that'll go in. That goes into our flip-flop, which controls the door. So if we go inside, now instead of using this button to close it, we actually use the button in the middle. And you'll see it toggles both. And now we can go out and toggle the other one, and it works a treat. So on either side we have button going into activation of oh, into flip flop, which goes and controls the door, and then the one in the middle goes into both flip flops. And so if we had this situation, we could open both doors. But if you have one door, then it just toggles between the two. Um, the flip flop works by taking a um, a high, um, so that's a high and swapping its state every time it gets a new high signal uh, which is great because the buttons do a little little pulse which is it so that's some of the new logic some of the new rail stuff and some of the really cool things you can do with it you got movement like that you've got cool movement of moving yourself up and down really cool and it's pretty foolproof once you've got it all hooked up, which is great. So that is Rails and Logic and everything in between. Until next time, my name is Bench and thanks for watching.